Hello, the Tripsa host, Racer, and here to proudly present you our fourth installment. And here I'm going to show you 16 tricks that you can do. As it is, don't forget to hit the uh, dumb likes on, and let's get right into these 16 tricks. I'm here. Again, thank you for tuning in, and thank you so much for watching. Now, let's bring on to the tricks. So all these tricks is, is about to read off our first one, and it is the vanishing pink mellow and cup magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here I got my astronaut here. This is just to take it into my hammer here. I'm gonna actually just to take this cup here. Watch. Make it completely vanish and end up coming from the cup. How is this one done? As is, I'm about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is a nice white cup. I'm gonna put a sticker onto it. It's gonna be here. Um, gold ribbon and a pink one. And then you'll be needing is a pink marshmallow for this. What you want to do is you're gonna have the cup onto to the table and have your pink marshmallow mellow out like this. Making the vanish, simply just put it in like this and take it right back out again. Like that. Then until it's done, get this position as it go and grab the cup. And just dump it in like this. And then just make the vanish happen. Like that. The magic making it vanish and magically it appears coming out of the cup you see this right here. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to that one. Then we get down to our trick number two. And that is the magic ball to egg magic trick. That's what this ball to egg will look like. Okay, so here I got my red ball. You guys can take a look at it. Okay, I'm gonna actually turn this into an egg. So if I can go into my fist like this and watch. That magic that turns into an egg. How's this one done? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you will need are just a few simple things. One, a red sponge ball and a white egg. What you're going to do is get a plastic one and give it a hollow. That way it can easily fit the ball. What you want to do is going to start off with this into your pocket of your pants. Like this. And have this out. Well, want to make sure that you are at a slant like this. It'll help with your hand when you go out and grab it. Show the ball. And as you show the ball, pass into this finger like this. It's going to actually go out as you make your way to your pocket. Grabbing the egg out like this. Make sure it's in the palm, bring the palm over, and proceed to push this in to the egg like this. And then, you end up doing that. And by magic, changing um, red sponge ball into a nice white egg, you see, just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic ball to egg magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number three. That is to, uh, I to call the magic white egg card prediction magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here in the kitchen for this one, you can see the right deck cards here. I'm just actually just uh, cut a deck like that. Okay, I just want you guys to um, look at one card here. Okay, so you you play this one. Okay, so here, I'm going to show you that. Okay, just put that into your mind there. I'm not gonna look at it, my hand is turned away. Okay. I'll just place this card aside. Like that. I'll put the deck together. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go into the fridge and get out some eggs. White eggs. I take one. And I'm going to is predict your card by the use of this. Okay, so by the egg, I'm going to think is the card that you picked, that you selected, is it 
the Jack of Hearts. Yeah? Okay, look. It says on the egg. The uh, stat I'm going to is give to you the Jack of Hearts. How's this one done? This is about to reveal the secrets. All you all need is a few simple things for this. And that is not a real egg, and it is a white board egg, you see, just right here. The egg you'll need is a um, deck of cards, bicycle, works well with this, red or pink, whatever bicycle cards that you have. What you want to do is going to select a card, you can also do a first card too. Like this, this ramo randomly and get one here. Okay, so we're gonna get down to our next one here. How about we do this one here? So you're going to do is a first card, or having select a card after cutting the deck in half. What I do is gonna write this out onto the egg with an expo with an expo marker. This is what you'll see just right here. Cap comes off, and uh, you'll just write down. So, just put down Jack, and then O, F, and then do something like a diamond, like that. Like that. What you want to do is place this into an A carton with all the white eggs. That way, it yes, becomes one, a part of it. Like this. Like that, get a close, and then put it into the, into the fridge. Like that. And you are good to go from there. What you want to do is cut a deck and put the card on like this top. What I'm going to is hold the other half like this and stopped and braced with your ring finger like that as a break. So I deck cut the deck off like this, remove it, they put it at this card and sew it. You can turn it away or they can put it down. Okay, so once they see this card, you're going to place it back onto the deck like that. Yes, I'm going to predict your card by an egg, by an egg in the fridge. And then that's done, we'll, we'll come in the egg carton as you open the fridge. Take out the egg carton. And uh, open it like that. This makes sure you hide that. Like this, gonna take it out like that with the eggs, like that, exactly. And so we just place the egg carton aside. And then hold the egg, and you're going to is think about it. I'm gonna guess your card. By this is the card that you selected, the Jack of Diamonds. Good turn, it's done. It's just saying, how did you do that? Turn the egg, sew it, and then just uh, sew the card that you predicted. You see, just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic egg card prediction magic trick. Then we get down to our trick number four. You're on our fourth installment coming up, our fifth installment. Please, please stay tuned for that. Okay, this one here. We have to call the magic white egg and sash magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got my, my white egg here. I actually need to place this into my pocket of my pants. Just like this. Okay. I'm going to now is take this red sash here. I'm going to go and make it appear coming from it. How's this done? Make sure this is done right now. All you will be needing is a red silk sash 
And you'll need is two white eggs. You see me here, preferably plastic for this one. Want to be careful when using real ones though. Let's let you know. But plastic works the best for this. It looks nice with the sash. That's what I do is have one palmed and the sash is held in that same hand like this and have one egg up just like this and, pre and, and present. What you want to do is you're going to take this egg and put this into your pocket of your pants by simply putting it in just like this into your pocket like that and you're going to cut, cut, the, cut the egg by putting the sash under it like this and going like this and making the egg appear by the use of the sash dress done, simply just take it out. Just like that. And that there is how you do it. the magic trick to that one though. I know how that is done. And then we get to go trick number five. And that is the magic Easter spring egg to Easter egg magic trick. That's what this will look like. So what you guys got this here? Is, is this in hand just like this? You know, just rub it like this, and it changes into an Easter egg. Spring egg to Easter egg. How's this one done? Actually, this is done right now. All you will be needing is a spring egg, called cloth, easy to squish down, and a nice looking, interesting looking Easter egg. You're gonna place the spring egg into it like this, gonna hold it like that to hide this, and the other one is hold held like this. Now you can see it, place in just like that, and just rub like this. And by magic, the spring egg turns itself directly into an Easter egg. You see, just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic. The, the magic spring egg to Easter egg magic trick. Hey, we're gonna get a great escape to happen with this one coming into our trick number six, which I like to call the magic Easter bunny rope escape magic trick. Here's what this will look like. And here at the tricks table for this one, you can see I got my bunny all nice and tied up here, and I got my napkin here. Going to is just going to unwrap this like this. I'm going to is just cover it like this. Watch this. I just give this a pull. And I'll see what will happen. Whoa, completely vanishes. Seriously. Wow, again, pick it up and it reappears. So how did I do the two of them? As is but to reveal the secrets. All you need is a part, is an Easter egg napkin. Um, nice, what you see just here. And this rabbit that has a hole in the inside of it. I guess you can do is a slip knot. Like this, I'm gonna feed this in, just like that. And uh, get a slip knot. Why it's above the ears of the rabbit, like this. And it gives a place to actually tuck this in so it locks itself in the, ins in the inside, like this. Now, you could do is the, the vanishing and then um, it to do the great escape. What you want to do is, before giving it a yank, you want to pick it up with this, coming over like that. There, we'll get the vanishing in there first. Make it like this and pull up like that and go, oh, whoa, it completely vanished. Okay, put it back down again. And this time you're gonna pull after it's done like this. And then pull back up again. Make the rabbit appear. And that's that, it does a, its great escape, you see, this right here. And that right there is how you do the magic Easter bunny rope escape magic trick. There, it gets it vanishing in there, that alone, the great escape with that one as well too. Then we get down to our trick number seven. There we're gonna make a 
that chocolate paper bunny mysteriously float. Coming into the trick tale, which I like to call the magic floating chocolate paper bunny magic trick. Is what this floating paper bunny will float like. Okay, so here I got my uh, my uh, my uh, my uh, paper chocolate bunny. You see here, I'm actually just gonna hold this like this and watch. <sighs> Whoa! Hold again. This time I actually I put it into my palm and have it magically standing up onto my palm. So how I do, I do the two. This is a book to reveal the secrets. All you will be needing is some brown construction paper for chocolate and just design and um, get into a bunny, you see right here, making it like a chocolate paper bunny, you see right here. All it's going to do is get yourself some packing tape and put it on it here. This is going to create the standing into your palm as well as the rising. So too. So as you saw it, this thumb onto it like that. You're gonna hold on to it and just let it go like that. And pull like that. So it's done, bring it back and hold it. Palm at the ready and just simply go like this. Like that. And then just go up very slowly and making it rise off your palm, just like that. And that right there is so you do the magic floating chocolate paper bunny magic trick. Then that puts us directly down to our trick number eight. Here on our fourth installment coming up after this one will be our fifth installment, so please stay tuned for that. Okay, the trick here is what I like to call the bashing Easter egg cup mystery magic trick. Here's what this will look like. For this, I'll see you back at the trick table. Okay, so here I got my uh, cup right here. I got my Easter egg. Go like that. I'm gonna actually wave over it and make it completely vanish. Okay, it's gonna check out, you see? It's still there. You're actually gonna go like this and make it vanish. Where did where did it end up? Right over here. How is this one done? As is about to reveal all the secrets. All you need is an, an Easter napkin here and Easter cup. You see just here. And then what you will need are simply two of the same Easter eggs here. Right here, speckled ones, cover eggs. That's what, what they are. What I want to do is going to start with one into your palm and hold a napkin just like this. Cup at the ready. And what you want to do is at the edge of a table, after you put it in like this, wave and show that it's still there. What you want to do is going to cast it out like this, be very quick as it placed down there, just like that. They'll know. It's right there because you very quick at the cup going down like this. Wave over and pick it up and make the bash happen. What you want to do is take your napkin here and just go like this. And it reappears in your hand. I'm making a vanish from the cup and ends up seriously appearing in your right or left hand. You see just right here. And that's right there, how you do the magic trick to that one. It's a very easy one, and um, it brings the colors of the rainbow with it as well, too. And then, now getting down to our next trick, what comes after eight but nine? And that is trick there, I like to call it the magic Easter egg pot and blindfold magic trick. Is what this will look like. Okay, so here at the text table for this one, you guys can see all the nice, the Easter eggs there, and I got the pot of it, you see right here, and I got my blindfold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy my, my, fold myself first, take off my hat, and simply placing this over like this. 
so I can't see a thing. I'm going to place my hat back on. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to just put these eggs in here. Like this. And I'm going to is guess the color right away by giving this a little mix like this. Watch, now so just, I'm going to go in. I'm going to pick any random one. Okay, this one here, I'm guessing, is the blue speckled egg. Yes, am I correct? Blue speckled egg. Let's see. Whoa. How would I guess that? Lucky guess. So how do I do this? Uh, so this is done right now. All you'll be needing is speckled eggs, chocolate. Um, got the blue speckled one, got a green speckled one here, and I got a pink speckled one right here. Nice uh, pot. Deck it up with some nice Easter spring looking stickers onto it. And then what you'll be needing is a blindfold. The stickers in a blindfold. Actually, you can see right through it. You can see a little bit of light going in there. You can see a little bit of me. That's what's allowing you to see the colors of the of these these chocolate eggs. That's what I do before putting them in. Is place on the, bl the blindfold like this. I put the hat back on again. I'm going to is put the eggs in like this. You can use a wand or use, use your fingers and just give it a little mix like this. Go in and as you see the color, you're going to color up very quickly. You'll be surprised because I see you already blindfolded. Like this. Okay, so here, I'm going to dig in like this and it actually... Oh. Let's see. Okay. My guess is that this one here is the green speckled egg. Just done. Just to be just pull this down. Like this. And act surprised. Like, oh, wow. Lucky guess. Let's see what we could do. And it brings something very unique within this one. And I know how that is done. Give it up for the magic Easter egg pot and blindfold magic trick. Whoa. Holy spring! How did these just mysteriously so just appear just like that? Well, as it is spring in itself, it has loads of magic within it. As you can tell right here, as it is, let's go with the rest of our tricks. I'm here. And then that brings us down to our trick number 10. And that is the magic. Easter egg glove magic trick is what this will look like. So here I got my white egg here, and I got my uh, my glove. It places into my fist just like this, all the way. That watch my magic. The white egg turns into an Easter egg. How's this done? So this is done right now. What you will be needing is what you'll see right here. A white egg and an Easter egg. Of course, you'll need is this long glove. Very long glove. What you're going to do is it's very stretchy, so we can fold it up and it looks just like this. This will hide the egg. You'll hold the Easter egg like this, and this will go in like this. Is it losing the you're actually putting it into your fist like this? All the way in, so it down, it's just right there. To up like this wave. My magic, the white egg, changes into an Easter egg by the use of a nice red glove. You see, this right here. And now we dare say you do the magic Easter egg glove magic trick. Ooh, almost had a great, great egg ex uh, escape with that one. <laughs> and I know how that is done. Then we get down to our trick number 11. That is the Easter Magic Easter Bucket Pole Trick. Here's what this will 
Look like look at this. I'll see you back on the tricks table with this one. Okay, so here I got my uh my uh, my uh, pole here. And I got ooh. Got a bite there. <laughs> okay, I can see I got these eggs in here. I'm gonna actually do something pretty magical with this. I'm gonna see, feed this in like this. We'll see what I could, I could do with this. Are you ready? Watch. By magic, I can pick it up. Wow. You guys can take a look. I'll show you the inside. So how I do this? I'll show you this is done right now. All you'll need is in this like, of Easter egg coverings. You see this right here? Oh. And that's how the egg rolls. <laughs> LOL. I'll get that one. Come back here. There we go. Got ourselves an egg runaway. <laughs> okay, then you'll need is this bucket that has the whole this in here to allow this hook of the pole, fishing pole, to latch upon to it like this. That's what's allowing it to be, be picked up. What's what to do is going to load this in with your ESR and coverings. One, two, and three, like this. You're gonna hide this with your hand like that. So have to get to see the eggs, but not that. So the eggs, take your uh, pole, and this goes down here like this, and it just simply just uh, latches on back here. All you gotta do is pick it up like this. Be very careful as you pick it up like that. Don't make it swing to the other side. Keep it like this, and then bring it right towards you. That's done. So we just take it out and show the eggs like this. And right there, so you do the trick to that one. It's a very simple one. There it gets a fishing pole in there, the bucket, and the eggs. So you see just right here in the inside. And that right there is how you do the Easter magic Easter bucket pole trick. And it's down to our trip number 12. Goes into a shake, an egg shake, an egg shake. And it's a trick I call the magic banana egg shake trick. And like this will shake like. Okay, so here I got my nice yellow egg here. And I'm holding this uh, um, cup under here, like that. And I'm just placing it, and I'm just gonna go like this, and I'm gonna get a little shake. Egg shake. Seriously, that one. Bombs up. Mmm. Delicious. So how's this done? How's this is just done right now. All you'll need is um, a yellow egg, a yellow cup. Almost looks like a banana milkshake, but it goes well with the egg. Egg shake, exactly. And let's set you have a napkin. All you gotta do is gonna hold it like this. You can see a little bit of this, a little bit, top and the bottom. You can see you're holding a glass egg. Ready? Pop it in like this. And it's going to just give a little shake like this. By magic, it shakes the egg and gives you an egg shake. You see, just here. It's done. Get a little drink. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, just take this and just... I mean, dip this off with the napkin of it. And that way there is how you do the trick to that one. It's a very interesting one and a very fun one as well too. Give it up for the magic shake egg. Magic trick. Then we get down to our trick number 13. And that is the Easter egg magic gold chop cap trick. And as a this will look like. So here I got my nice gold out of here. Let's see, actually, whoa. Huh? Where did I go? Anyway, 
face. I'm not gonna leave you a hot fat on. This is to reveal the secrets. All you need is a nice gold sapo. The sap cap, as they call it. And then what you'll be needing is a bunny ear party band, which is what you'll see right here. Right here. What you want to do is hold the band in the inside like this. And then I gotta use this rise it above like this and give it a bump like that. But you want to have the hat like this though. That way it looks natural, a natural hold. Make sure the ears are not exposed onto the sides of the hat like this. Go in and go. Ears come out and then go like this. And then simply go back like this and show the hat completely empty. And there, so you do the trick to that one. There, bring something golden and something bunny rific. The bunny ears from the hat, the uh, shop cap you see just right here. And that right there is how you do the Easter Ring Magic Gold Shap uh, Cap Trick. Bring us down to our uh, number 14. And that is the Magic Easter Spring Shap Eggs Magic Trick. Because so this will look like this, and we'll be using this for this one. So you can see my, my empty hat here. You don't want to see my fingers. I go in and I just reach out one egg. I was gonna just replace that aside for now. Okay, you can actually can see again. You can see, we're gonna actually wave over it and pick out a next one. There. Now I have is two. So how I do this? I'm about to reveal. Let's get to you right now. All you need are these interesting looking pink eggs. And then you need is a million around those hat shop caps. So I do so put the eggs in the inside. Then you want to hold your hand like this. That way you can hold the shop cap like this. So the inside is completely empty. Put one in like that. We have it up in this with your hand, or you can use a magic wand if you want to, or wave, or snap out of your fingers. Let's just reach in and pull the element out of the hat like that. Place this aside. I'm gonna repeat the same thing. And you know, do that. When it's done. Have back on your head. So on. And then so the other one. And so too. You see this here. And that right there is so you do a master trick. Do that one. And that right there is how you do the magic easy easy magic easter spring shop. Eggs, magic trick. Bring us down to our next trick. And that is to our trick number 15. And that is the magical Easter dye bucket magic trick. This is what this Easter dye bucket will look like this. Let's see on our table for this one. Okay, so here I got my uh, my uh, bucket here. I got these dyes. I got my blue one, uh, green two, three yellow, and four. Orange. I'm going to actually is yeah, simply just to put my first one in my blue. I don't need a lot, just need a bit. There we go. I'll place that aside. I go and get my second one now. My my, my green. And put it in. Don't need that much in there. Place that aside. Then I'm going to my third one, which is my yellow. Here. Doing much in there too. I'll place that side. And then I reach to my fourth one. See over here. My orange. I put that in there too. Like that. I'm just gonna place that side as well too. You guys can see the inside first. It's all right there. Okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick up um, a nice looking um, cover on here. And I'm going to simply just to place this on top of it like this. Okay. This is a wand. Like 
that. I'm gonna go in and give it a stir too. Okay, good. Let's see what that uh, that turned into. Eggs. Pink, yellow, turns to golden, blue, and green. And look, that's what it turned into. How's this one done? It is but to reveal the secrets. What you'll be needing for this is two buckets, say the same, one for gimmick, and one you're gonna put your um, egg dye in. Okay, what you want to do here is going to preload your um, eggs in the inside here beforehand, like this. So it looks just like this. There now gets a covered with a nice covering like this. They're going to set this aside like that. You don't need it right away. Because what you want to do is going to get those dyes to go into the bucket that will make it. Plus, you need is a wand that you can use for a stirring and for the wand tap. Then magically, my die cups seriously appear. There we got the blue, green, yellow, and orange. And you can also just if you have um puddings, you can put put it into here and label each one one, two, three, and four. That way, you'll know which one goes in first. The blue, the green, the yellow, and the orange. Orange, orange chocolate, God, I chose the orange. Goes with the, goes with the cap. Okay, so here is the, our next steps. What you want to do is going to use it. this to put these inside of this. So what I do is so start off with the first one that is the blue. And you don't you don't need much. Like that. Place it aside. You're gonna repeat to the other one, two, which was the green. You're gonna dump that in that in there as well too. Like that. That now goes aside. Then you go to your, your yellow one and do, do the same thing. Like that, so they can see that going into the bucket. And then your final one, your fourth one. Like this. And let's give that a dump. Like that. Once that's done, put that aside too. Then show the inside of the bucket. That's just right there. What you're going to do is going to pick up the one that's hidden in, in here and um, hold it well, it's nice and, and natural and place it in to the bucket like this, like this. You'll hide onto the covering like that. Screw it up and hold it over. Use your wand and go over it and get a tap. Take off the covering. Go into it and give it a mix. Like that. So it's done. Do that. And paste the wand aside. Once you've got that, you can just simply dump it out a little bit like that and show the eggs inside. There, the egg dye turns into eggs in. The bucket to it's done, simply just take it out like this. Green. So the green it makes the green. The yellow turns one one gold. The blue stays as blue. And the pink goes into pink, you see. Just the hair. That right there, so you do the master trick to that one. And I know how that it is done. And that right there is how you do the magical Easter dye bucket mat magic trick. This is our last one to our trick number 16. 
and then took this art called the Magic Easter Basket Surprise Trick. Is so this Easter Basket Surprise will surprise like it. So here I got my 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 Easter basket. Are you still egg halves? Or what? Whoa. Seriously. Oh, my goodness. That was a good one. Wow, that's surprising. I never knew um rabbits like these came from Easter eggs like just like this one here in a basket. Very surprising. Where did I go? I think I'm back in the egg. How was this one done? This is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you're gonna need to pull this one off. It's a very cute one. Now here is the step by steps on how that was done. First up, what you'll need is a big egg. Like this. You're gonna put some um uh, cut out white circles onto it. On here, creating the speckled egg. So you see, it's just a plastic one. So that's what you'll be needing. That's, that's your first one. Two, you will be needing is um, what's going to come hopping away. A, a rabbit. A rabbit. It is a puppet. You're gonna go and simply go like this. Like that. That's all that you are doing. Then you'll be needing is a third item. And that is, you'll be needing is an Easter basket with um, Easter grass. You see, just here. Get a good amount in the inside. What you want to do is going to cut a hole in the bottom of this to kind of allow your hand to fit in the inside out like this. This is where the rabbit will be shoved in. You want to um, put it in like this. First, you're going to shove the rabbit in just like this first. That way, this is out like that. Now what you want to do is going to get the egg, the egg halves, into it like this. Like that. Going to is take your first one and cover it over the rabbit just like this. Make sure it's standing up though. Into the ground, into the grass like that. And then you'll put the other one on the opposite side. Like this. That way it looks like two eggs or a broken up egg. Get your hand into the puppet like this. And I gotta do is hold it like this. Make sure they don't get to see the bottom. What you're doing is going to is go, go move around and then work your way, way out of the egg like this. And then it's rising above right, like that. So the eggs and bit the, the uh, Easter grass in the inside and then the surprise happens by simply making you want to move a little bit like this. And then let's go. Oh, like that. By magic. Surprising them with a rabbit mysteriously coming from the Easter egg in the Easter basket. So it's done. Give the wave and duck back down like this. And have it going back into the egg like that. Take your hand out and show your hand. Now, right there is how you do the surprise trick with this one. Very surprising, seeing um, a bunny coming out of a speckled Easter egg in the basket of it. And that's how you do the master trick to that one. Now you know how that is done as well.
So how many in total so far? Well, as it is, tomorrow will be our fifth one. And then the day, and then we'll have um, the other two in. So two, um, so the total of three. And then after our fifth one will be our sixth and our last one, our seventh one in this, this series. Because in this series, it goes up to seven uh, video installments with all of them in the inside. Got lots of tricks covered, and definitely souls. The spring, the Easter, the love, peace, and the light with it too. Making it world love, world peace, and world of light. You got that right. This is from your silly, your tricks of host, Grace. Signing off by saying the words. Have yourself a happy, safe rest of your April. I'll see you very soon tomorrow for our installment five. Ciao. I'll see you then. Now, let's ease the scene this up.